So how do I record my bass guitar directly into Reaper without using an amp or a microphone? Well, your audio interface likely has one or maybe two inputs that are designed for high impedance instruments, such as electric guitars and basses. And this will usually be on some sort of a quarter inch jack. It might be marked with the image of a guitar or maybe the words high Z, meaning high impedance, or maybe just the word instrument. On my audio interface, input number two is for high impedance instruments, and it's marked with a guitar. So what do we need to do? Well, we should know the drill by now. We need to create a track. So we either control T or command T or double click as I like to do. And the next thing is name that track. And this is gonna be bass. So I'll call it bass. And after that, I need to tell Reaper where to get the sound from. So in this case, it's defaulting to analog one, but I'm gonna go in here and tell it analog two, because I know that input number two is where my bass is plugged in. So that's great. Let's check levels. So I'm going to hit the record arm button just so that we can see the bass input coming in. I'm actually going to turn up the volume on the bass guitar itself. Play a little bit. Oh, see right there. There we go. I'm peaking. So I've got to turn that down uh, a little bit. Let me clear that. Let's try this. Okay, that's better. Always aiming for that minus 6 to minus 10. Minus 10 is a little lower, but it's absolutely fine. And that's a good level. That gives me a lot of room in case I do play hard. Next thing on the list is creating a headphone mix or a monitor mix. I'll be using direct monitoring with my audio interface. And for that, I use Total Mix, which is the software that controls the internal mixer in my interface. And that's what controls the level I hear back of the instruments I'm recording versus what's being played back from Reaper. Now, as we're not using a microphone, we don't have to worry about feedback or sounds that were previously recorded getting back into the bass guitar because there's no microphone involved. So in this case, we can use headphones or if we wanna use speakers, we could do that too. Now I'm gonna make sure the metronome is on, which it was. And I wanna make sure the metronome is on so that I can start right with the guitar on the first beat of the song. And this will give me a count in. So let's just do a dry run before we actually hit record. I'm going to hit play and I'm going to adjust levels so that my headphones sound good. Here we go. Okay, I need to turn the bass up. And it's in input number two right here. Try this. It's okay, I actually want it louder than that. Maybe even louder. That's better. There we go. Okay, so now I'm happy with my headphone mix, so I'm ready to record. Now, if you're doing this at home and you couldn't hear the bass while the track was playing, Try a few of these things. Either turn down the instruments in Reaper, turn up the bass in your monitoring software, or if you have a playback input balance control, turn it more towards the input side. The big thing again is do not adjust that input gain because we just spent some time getting it right. We know we have a good recording level. We're just changing levels of what we're hearing back while we are recording. Okay, well, I think I'm ready to record a pass of this, so let's do it.
So I hit spacebar to stop, and there we have it. I'm pretty happy with that. There's a couple of notes I want to redo. I think I'm going to do another take. But that is how you record bass guitar directly into Reaper. <laughs>